Welcome back, guys, to our ongoing coverage at CE Week at the CE Line Shows here in New York. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. And this is Mark from yes. Bello Digital. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Glad to have you here. You are loaded up with toys over there. I know. There. You kept bringing stuff over. <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? They started carting them in, huh? I yeah, yeah. like a truck backed up. I yeah. mean, it was the whole big deal. <laughs> so how's the show treating you so far? Are you show's been packed. It? Yeah? I mean, so actually, I came here as the first time I had a seat, so it was yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> Can you believe she chooses to stand up? And I usually do, but this is a nice change of pace. Yeah. <laughs> So is this your first year here? It's our first year showing at this show, yes. But you're, is the, the company The company's new? 25 years old. That's what I thought. And we typically, we've been displaying at CES for about 25 years now. Oh, wow, okay. So this, this was a nice change of pace, which is, uh, you know, strongly dominated by press and the opportunity to really get the word out on some yeah. of our new product categories. Yeah, I think very, the very difference cool. between here and CES is at CES, you got like 150,000 people there in your face. Yeah. Here... It's a little bit more intimate. You, you've you got actually... fewer people, but you actually have similar reach because you know if you got a whole bunch of press, well, like for us, us example, you know, as an example, it's going to reach more people than are yeah. that even attend CES. No question. Yeah. So you can you can hit make a big splash, I guess, with a smaller group. <laughs> no, it's been great. I mean, we're we're excited to be here. So because you have so many stuff for sure. us, let's start with, well, what, you tell us, what should we start what with? Because I can't with? decide. Sure. Um, I think we'll, we'll start with um, the product that we've just introduced, which yes. is our first over-the-head headphone. So we've, we've been in this category now for three years. And really, one of our spe we have two specialties within our company. One is industrial design, and the other is engineering for audio. Yeah. So. We looked at the headphone category and we said, you know what, there isn't a lot of, we didn't feel there was a lot of great design, great sound quality that was done at a reasonable price point. So that's where we set out from an engineering standpoint and we tasked our team to, we want great looking products, we want them to be comfortable, we want the sound to be great. Our graphics and packaging team, we want award-winning packaging. It's been nice. We've actually won two national recognized awards for our nice. for our branding and packaging. Awesome. And we've expanded. Uh, this particular line has uh, five different colors. We've launched the first two in June. Three others will be coming. One of our new colors will be... Uh, I like that That's see. a good looking color. It really is. It's a really nice looking blue and a lot of them are wearable fashion. Yeah. So we have a... Can I try it? Kind of, sure. We have a, a nice neutral brown color. As you can see, very, very lightweight. Yep. They look good on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we actually had these come to the studio before we came here to New York. And they are comfortable and, and uh, they sound good. So. I wouldn't know because the intern stole them the second they arrived. <laughs> we'll make right. sure to get to another one. Pablo. Pablo and Matt. <laughs> but I think one of the things that we do different than most is we really put a lot of time into the details. So as you look at it, you know, a lot of times the consumer might look at a product and either in five seconds they like it or don't like right. it. From an engineering standpoint, you look at every detail so that in that five seconds the consumer makes that choice of like or don't like. So little things, so the stitching yeah. on it. So we'll do the stitching basically after an Audi car seat. Our team said we, we love the look of the Audi car seat. We like, we like the white stitching on it. Yeah. Uh, we purposely wanted to have in many of them mm -hmm. where you use a different color on the inside like than the outside. It's in this nice case that, that matches the, the cup. These are all have a nice tactile feel. Mm -hmm. It has the rubber coating to it. Yeah. Yep. And uh, also, I like your logo on these headphones because yeah. it looks like little eyes or little glasses. Kind of does, it's yeah. It's like the B and the D. It's which almost is brilliant. With the little silver thing around the outside, it almost looks it's like a, a cute little cat. Face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not, also, I like the uh, the cord, the way that it's yes. got the. It's uh, a fabric color. It's a fabric covered cord. It's very durable, and it mm -hmm. also doesn't tangle, which is one of the big things. Yes. So that's one of the nice advantages. The plug is a gold-plated plug, and it's also designed to fit into almost every case. There are a lot of products out there. You know, most people have a case on their yeah. on their right. iPhone. They plug it in. I hate that. It will go <laughs> in. And, and the worst thing is when it goes in just far enough for you to hear, like, out of the left ear and not the right or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, it's like, ah! Exactly. And most people don't realize 
Uh, they're thinking that there's something wrong with the yeah. headphones because it does feel like it's in. Yeah. It's just yeah. not quite making full contact. Yeah, not fully seated, yeah. And so then you also have um, controls, the music controls yes. and everything on That's a here microphone well. and a universal track control. Yeah. Okay, so what else? How much? Wait, how much are these? One of the beauties that we've done in this product is that the price point on it is forty nine ninety nine. Wow! So it's really at a price point where we're given the quality of one ninety nine and above. And one of the things that we really that we set out for is that in doing the multiple colors, a lot of the consumers are, are buying these products not just on pure listening; it's on the fashion. Yeah. So it's what am I wearing today? Does the blue match with what I'm wearing? And we kind of equate it to the way that sneakers are purchased today. Right. It used to be there were sneakers for wearing somewhere nice and playing sports. Now sneakers are worn as a fashion statement. Headphones the same way. So at the $49.99 price point, we're giving the consumer who would typically black is the most popular color, now look at some of the other ones and say, you know what? I could buy two or three of them yep. and still be less than some of the other brands that are in the marketplace there you go. and get the quality. Ah, I see. All, All right, right, so we only have a couple more minutes left, sure. but I want to see the rest of okay. what you have. Uh, these are prototypes. This is a wow. um, uh, sport headphones. What's unique about this is that we have a, a wire that's built in here, and this it's a wire that's bendable. So in the concept of, um, I guess what we would call Gumby, it allows you to bend it around your ear. And okay. shape it to your particular oh. ear. We designed so kind of moldable. Yeah, and it's actually a prototype, so you won't get the full okay. bending. But it will uh, it will basically bend open and, nice. st and stay in and stay in position. God, I like and, that. And bend That's back. Really cool. The so what's the design for I mean like this this hole right here, is that a particular design? Just strictly a design just, element. Just, okay. It's a, a special material, it's called a TPR, which allows it to be flexible and still maintain its and still maintain yeah. its shape. The head design and the way that it goes into the ear and the angle is important. We give a good fit. And this really allows you, so when you're, whether you're running, jumping rope, Mountain purely biking. lifting, playing basketball, they'll stay on the ear and keep a good fit. Yeah, very uh, cool. Everyone likes the Gumby reference in the chat room. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. that's go. good. <laughs> Who doesn't like Gumby, right? Yeah. And, and when are these coming out if they're prototype? These will be out in September. September, okay. And how much will they retail for? They'll retail for $49.99. Okay. What do we got here? And these aren't headphones. This yeah. is, this is not a headphone. You're breaking my... Uh... <laughs> I broke your vibe on that one, huh? <laughs> this is a very a unique product. It's, we have a full line of TV wall mounts. So in conjunction with TV wall mounts, we came up with a universal soundbar mount. That sound is something that is necessary. Yes. Soundbars that are, are exploding in the marketplace. They TVs are. are thin, very hard to get great sound, so soundbars have become popular. The problem with soundbars is... For the person who wants to mount it, they have to make another hole on the wall. Right. Also, if you have a TV that pulls off the wall and you turn it, your sound's stationary. So what we did is we designed this and I kind of give you an exploding view on the back. Ah. The sound bar itself mounts to the TV. Okay. The TV wall mount then mounts oh, on top nice. of it. Oh, nice. And it's any TV oh, wall mount. Awesome. Wow. So this will basically work with any sound bar in the marketplace. It also gives you the ability to lower and raise so that the soundbar will be flush with the TV. I love it. So this way there's no space, no hanging wires, and give you a great clean look. So the only thing you need to do in this case now is make sure that you size your wall mount for your TV such that it can bear the weight of the TV plus your soundbar. Well, the yeah, typically um, the TV wall mounts can all handle, the TVs have become lighter. Yeah. And this will actually get fixed first to the TV, yep. and then the wall mount will go behind it. It will go through the same, it's a uh, universal size that it, will, okay. that it will run through. Yep. And how much? Brilliant. $49.99 as well. <laughs> and when is it? I think they like the magic that number, price. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When's it available? This, uh, uh, we actually launched this about three months ago. Okay. And uh, it's available for us uh, national, regional retailers around the country. We have Very got cool. to get one of these to try out. Sure. That yes. is, That is fantastic i i say that because i actually have several ma sound bars and i had to go in and even though we have wall mounts for the tvs you have to go and drill additional wall mount holes you got to make sure the sound bar is perfectly level because otherwise it looks stupid and then you put holes in your sheetrock oh, and your God. wife's going to come I, home and say what yeah. how come i have to see those holes exactly yeah so that is fantastic <laughs> well, well we're out of time yes. i know we could 
So basically, uh, Velo Digital, forty nine ninety nine for everything. Everything, right? yeah. <laughs> everything goes. I think All that's right. the takeaway here. No, we uh, we'll so we'll follow up on uh, maybe a review on that one. We've got those in for review. Yeah. So you guys keep an eye out. We'll yep. we'll bring those to you soon. Mark, thanks for joining us. Yep. We're Have gonna a good rest of the show. Well, we're gonna continue the coverage here from uh, CE Week.